Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Happy New Year! It's 2017, and uh, I thought we'd never get past 2016. I don't know about you. I want to talk today about one of the things that people oftentimes try to do in a new year, and that is maybe to lose some weight, get healthier. And um, there is a diet around, it's called the Daniel Diet, and I wanted to read something in the Old Testament about it and talk to you from my perspective about the Daniel diet and what that's really about, okay? Hang on, this is a spiritual lesson. It says, uh, <laughs> Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my Lord, the king who hath appointed your meat and your drink, for why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall you be shall you make me endanger my head to the king? Then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us um, basically vegetables and fruit to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat of the portions of the king's meat, and as you see, deal with thy servants. So he agreed to let him do this. What they did is they stopped eating all the rich food, and the candy, and drinking the alcoholic drinks, and they started eating fruit and vegetables for 10 days, and of course, after 10 days, they were looking a whole lot better than the young men that were eating all the other stuff they shouldn't be eating. And uh, hence we have today, uh, 2,600 years later, we have the Daniel diet and people try to follow it. And people are trying to lose weight and just to regain their health and all that. The reason Daniel did that was not to lose weight. The reason he did that was about being pure before God. What he was doing is he was keeping things out of his life that weren't healthy for him because uh, today we understand, Daniel didn't understand all of it, but we understand today that if you're a Christian, you are the temple of God. He resides in you. There is no temple in Jerusalem. You're the temple. And so we're supposed to take good care of ourselves. The problem we have is that it's not about a Daniel diet. That's not it. It's about being right with God and living such a life that God is able to bless you. Now, I'm assuming that since we've just arrived at the new year, you're probably tired from all the holidays and a lot of things to clean up and put away and so forth. I know that. But sometimes you and I face difficulties and troubles in our life that just plain wear us down. What Daniel understood is if you're going to deal with the stresses of life, you got to take care of yourself. You got to get enough rest. You got to eat properly. Take care of yourself. But it was far more than that for Daniel. He went to the Lord in prayer and he talked to God about everything and God gave him wisdom. So if you're going to be facing like all of us do, obstacles, problems, burdens, things we got to get done, and you get worn out from it, and then you end up doing what I sometimes do when I cheat, is you eat junk food and you eat stuff you shouldn't be eating. Instead, go to God with prayer. Did you know that he's always there available to you? And you can talk to him. He's as close as a prayer. He will help you deal with the burdens of life and the problems and the issues and sometimes the outlaws and in-laws and other people you got to deal with. God will help you to deal with that in a way that you can just center down and have some peace and quiet inside and not be anxious about what's going on in your, in your life and around you. That's what Daniel did, and that's why he found favor with the king, because he was walking close to God. In 2017, I'm challenging you, rededicate yourself to walk with God, to spend time with Him in prayer, to read the Bible, and seek after what is God saying to you. Let me know what God says to you. I'd like to hear about it, okay? God bless you.